Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am here with Willow. Um, today we are in my bedroom because I have a brand new bookshelf that my dad very kindly built for me. We always come up with different ideas for projects and things and I had this idea of this bookshelf and my dad brought my vision to life and I am in love with it. I don't really know exactly how I want it to look yet. I'm just going to be filming this video just to take you guys on the journey with me of filling this bookshelf. My dad actually made it out of a spare piece of lumber that he had just lying around so it was really exciting to just have him go out in the garage, get a piece of wood, and make it into this bookshelf. So, um, thank you so much dad. And I can't wait to, I can't wait to fill it. So without further ado, Willow and I are going to start grabbing some books off of my bookshelves because they are very, very full to the point of bursting. And so I definitely needed a new bookshelf. So let's get some books and put them on my new shelf. Right? Right? Let's go. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Okay, awesome. What are we building, Dad? Bookshelf. <laughs> we need a bookshelf. <laughs> <laughs> we need more bookshelf. Yes, we need more room.
right, and here we have it, my finished bookshelf in my bedroom. I am so happy with how it came out. I decided what I wanted to do was completely make it aesthetic based because it's kind of a focal point and sort of part decoration. I wanted it to be a decorative bookshelf. I decided to put all of my favorite different editions of classics on my shelves. We have my Penguin Deluxe Editions, my Pan Macmillans, my Penguin English Library, more Pan Macmillans, cloth bounds, and then some leather bounds, and then over here we have some of my very favorite middle grade books. It has been so nice having my books in my room because before then, I had all of my books on my one shelf in my art studio office area, and it was of course nice to have all my books together, but I often read in bed before I go to sleep, and it's just nice to have the books in here. I can grab one. I've been reading a lot of middle, middle grade recently, so I've been coming over here, grabbing a book off of this little stack, and bringing it to my bed, reading in bed, and then putting it on my bedside table. It's just such a nice routine, and I'm really, really happy with it. Also, these stars, if you want to know what these stars are, they're kind of like milestone stars. So in the little town next to mine, there's a really cute little village. And in this village, there is this really cute shop. And in this shop, they sell these stone stars. So each star is a different kind of stone. My parents started getting them for me every time something special happened in my life and it was often while I was away at university so I would go back from being home to back in New York City and I would be unpacking and then I would find a hidden star somewhere with a little note saying what it symbolized or anything. So now I have all of my milestone stars over here. If you don't know, I love stars. I also, I don't know if you can tell some of the shots where you could see my ceiling. I do have glow-in-the-dark stars on my ceiling because I am five years old and, <laughs> and they just make me happy. Oh, the big ones also are for major events. So that's why there are three bigger ones and then the smaller ones are just for like little things. Um, but yeah, so that's what that is. This plant was actually my grandmother's and she is the one that I am named after, Marie. And it's just so nice to, to have this plant in my room, to think of her. And the little stone, this one my mom actually got me. It is It has a little bird on it and then on the other side it says, Great Adventures Await. And this is something that just brings me a lot of joy. And uh, the books that are actually under the plant were my grandmother's as well that she gave to me, but they're quite old and falling apart, but I don't want to get rid of them because I'm a very sentimental person. Um, so I just decided to use them as a little base for the plant to lift it up a bit more. Um, so yes, I think that that's all that I wanted to explain. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and liked seeing how I decided to decorate this bookshelf. It wasn't really planned to be part of my bookshelf series and it was just kind of um, a very fun creative process so I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I look forward to continuing on with my bookshelf tour series. I'm pretty sure the next video in my bookshelf tour series is dedicated to my Pan Macmillans which are the blue and gold ones. Um, so let me know if you guys would like instead of that an in-depth because obviously I can't give you that because I moved them onto this shelf but would you like an in-depth bookshelf tour of this shelf where I go through each and every book? Let me know in a comment down below and I will gladly give that to you guys. But anyway, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much for coming on this journey with me. And I will see you soon in another video. Happy reading.